What's happening, my beautiful people out there in the frag world? My name's Jose, welcome to PR Sense, and today we are gonna be talking about a classic, a true, true classic um, that has had reformulation upon reformulation, some of them are good, some of them are bad, but I'm gonna talk to you about the latest version, and if you're interested, stick around, and I'll see you in a second. Thanks, guys. So what's happened to my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? Welcome to PR Sense, my name's Jose. Um, if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a recurring subscriber, I really appreciate you guys. I really, really do, because you guys are what keeps me going. So today we're gonna be talking about Deutsche Gabbana's Por Homme. Now, Deutsche Gabbana's Por Homme has gone through its trials and tribulations. It came out in 1994, so it is an oldie. I had it in 1996, literally. Um, and yeah, I used to club with that one all the time and it smelled delicious. It was reformulated several times. Germany took it over for a while. Um, the UK took it over for a while. The latest version is France, um, and that's the one I have uh, right now, is the, the French one. They still kept the whole velvety blue box thing, um, which I love. And I remember like the original came in, in a velvety blue box as well, and it says Deutsche Gabbana Po Rome, Eau de Toilette, made in France. So yeah, um, that's it. The bottle still kind of looks the same. They kind of kept it a little bit the same as far as structure is concerned except in the vintage there was you know here they put the name on the bottle and the vintage it was a sticker so that's the vintage that's the 1994s is the one with the sticker on it and then the cap well let me just show you because i have it now i don't have the the sticker the sticker this is so old i only have a little little bit left um and so yeah this is where the sticker was and the cap looks a little bit different right and the scent is a little bit different um so it is considered an aromatic fougere uh this the the one well they're all considered aromatic fougeres and it cost me this is a 2.5 ounce bottle i think it was about 54 dollars um, and I found this at TJ Maxx, so you can still find these things around. So it's known as like citri citrus, aromatic, fresh, spicy, lavender, tobacco, sweet, herbal, fresh and woody. Um, it's top notes, uh, Italian lemon, tarragon, orange blossom. It's heart notes of French clary sage, fresh lavender balsic, and hints of marigold, and then base notes are cumarin, cashmerian, and Australian sandalwood. Now, I got that from the Deutsche Gabbana website. Fragrantica has it a little bit different. You know, they have it with pepper and everything else in there. Um, it is a really, really nice scent. Very masculine very old stylish, a little soapy, a little barbershoppy. But if you think of like those old style, like the obsessions and all of those, they had that, that, that soapy kind of barbershop kind of scent. Um, and this goes the same route. Now, compared to the 1994 version, the 1994 version uh, is, is a beast. It lasts way longer. Its notes are different. Um, it's just a different, it's the same DNA, same kind of scent. They've mixed around a few different things here and there, but if you could get your hands on the vintage version, it's so much better. The difference is though that this one was $54. The vintage version now, if you try to find it, um, cheapest you're gonna find it for is probably about $150, $250, $300. I've seen it for $500. So it's not cheap. Um, so yeah, but this one is more of a spring summer scent, a cool fall weather scent as well. It is very manly, it is very sexy. It is a, you can wear it in any occasion, but you know, it's a sexy manly scent. Just keep that in mind. 
age-wise, I would say it's more like a 25 and up kind of scent. If you're a young guy, you may not like these old style scents, but you may, so it depends. I don't know. Um, but it is a really, really nice scent if you like those old style kind of scents. They don't make scents like this anymore. They just don't. Um, now, do I prefer the vintage version over the new version? Absolutely, because this lasts longer, it smells nice. Um, the thing with, with both of them, they start off very, very citrusy, um, and then they, they end up like this musky, sweet, powdery kind of scent. Um, yeah, and I like it. It's, it's very, it has some floral aspects to it as well. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a little bit of everything. It's floral, it's musky, it's sweet, it's citrusy. Um, and so it's nice. Do I recommend it? Yeah, is a Jose coffee worthy? Yeah, especially the vintage version. But you know, which I'm really sad. I only have such a little amount left, but I'm gonna hold on to that one and only spit word on special occasions with Brenda. Um, Cause I think she'll find it sexy. I think women would find this sexy on a guy. I think they would. So. That's all I have for you. Um, if you like this video, please do me a favor. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. And as always, guys, be safe, be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.